Alright, what I have here is a Master Lock Pro Series 6121. This is a five pin lock. And for a master lock, this is one of their one of their one of their better locks. Okay, there's the keyway. And I do have a working key. And I have this set up so that when I pick it and turn the core, I'm going to try to pull the shackle open because there's no spring in there. But uh, that may not work because the, the core requires a lot of force to turn it. And my tension wrench usually pops out of there. I'm using this, I think it's a 30 thousandths um, wrench from pry bar type wrench from Sparrows and I'm using their hybrid hook. And uh, I think just looking for a full set and then from there looking for more feedback. And I think here goes my wrench. I might switch to a different hook. My tension right now is really light, and if I feel that I've overset something, I'm just going to reset, release tension, and see what drops back down. Alright, we're going to try a, a small hook, let me start over. And just because the way these, these pins are, some of them you have to set pretty high. And I think with that that hybrid hook, I was wasn't able to go around some of the the deeper cuts. So there's a mixture of regular pins and and spools in here. I think that's it. I'm kind of expecting some spools and some some regular pins. Select turn of the core twice. And we're open. All right. So this may or may not work. All right, it just worked. And let's get it open. Kind of a 
challenging lock. Not, not too bad. I kind of like the way this lock is built. It's actually a, a laminated padlock. I'm not sure if I mentioned, I haven't picked this one on camera because I didn't have the right size, um, the right size Allen key to get in there, so I actually filed down or machined down one I already had. Okay. Yeah, you see that's just a laminated lock on the inside and they made room for all the guts, the core in there. And there's no spring inside here. And there's no way for either, so this could have been bypassed. Um, kind of a nice lock, though. All right, so let's see what's inside of it. I think I'm going to predict that there are three spools and two standard pins. But we'll see. I've been wrong before. I don't want to damage my pick. Yeah, really, really greasy. Color coded pins. That's cool. I'm stuck on the first driver. And you as a spool. Yeah, the key pins are color coded. None of them are serrated. Yeah, they're just regular color-coded key pins. So, I'm not even going to bother taking those out. I'll just leave those in there. And we'll see what the other drivers are like. So, number two is stuck. Number two. Number three is a spool. Just a regular spool. Number. These pins are, sh or the uh, springs are shot. Yeah, these springs are no good. Yeah, the pins are just sitting in there. wasn't standard. It was a, a little serrated serrated keep or serrated driver. Two little cuts in there. And <laughs> somebody really spent some time <laughs> picking this one. Wow. Or maybe it was just in use a lot. So I'm gonna change out these springs. Wow those are really Compressed. Mm. And then the, the drivers are good. Um, this serrated driver, I think I'm going to swap out for an American style driver. You can see the difference here. 
Let's see. That's the American on the top. So that'll make it a little more challenging. And uh, depending on how they sit in there, I might change them around a little bit. Yeah, I think I'll put the serrated in the... Probably the last chamber. Like this. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and make those changes and switch out the springs. And I'll probably have this lock up for trade. Maybe. I'm not sure. I don't have any of these other ones. But uh, here's another look at the padlock. Very thick body. A lot of oil in there, grease in there. Um, but pretty durable. All right. Master Pro Series 6121. Thanks for watching. Happy picking.